Yeah, the second presentation a variant of bogus name, experimental mathematics. This is your second uh, presentation. Ah, okay. Ah, I'm going to talk again. Uh, we are from Japan. Uh, Masanori Fukui, Nazuki Terakawa, Keito Tanemura, Akira Murakami, Mariko Kashiwagi, and uh, Ryuhei Utsuhara. Uh, 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 Thank you. Thank you. Uh, the purpose of this study, uh, I propose a variant of Wagner's name. Uh, this name is quite unfamiliar to many people, but the rule is very simple and give a mathematical structure based on experimental mathematics. Uh, by experimental mathematics, I mean that uh, I, I use computer calculation to find a new fact. Uh, the original room of Bognat's name. Uh, two players take turns in sliding a coin leftward. And I coin cannot jump on or over another coin. And when there is no possible move, you will lose the game. Uh, we will call this end position. So it's a very simple game and maybe even elementary school students can play. And bonus name uh, with a push. Uh, I'm it's a, uh, my error. We with a push. push. Uh, this is a new variant of bonus name we created, and this is new program and proposed by one of the authors who is a high school student. A uh, little bonus name with a push. Uh, when coins are separated. Rule is the same as the original, but when coins are side by side, you have two options, option one and option two. So in option two, two coins uh, move towards left together. Uh, this is a new program. And one of the goal of uh, communal game is to find out formula for the winning positions. So in this kind of a very simple game, and the goal is to find uh, the way to win the game. And uh, here we use mathematical concept, grandi number. Uh, grandi number, uh, we are not talk about in detail, but grandi number is a tool to find winning strategy. And if you have a formula for grandi number, then uh, you have the strategy to win the game. By computer calculation, we discovered this formula. Uh, quite complicated, but uh, we used computer and uh, look for patterns in the data. And uh, by computer, we confirm the formula up to certain numbers. Uh, uh, now I'm going to talk about this. In experiment mathematics, there are two types of result. One is formal result inspired by experimentation and proved by rigid mathematics. And another result is conjectures suggested by experiment and data supporting uh, the conjecture. So in our case, uh, our formula is, uh, if you, uh, in a strict sense of the word, it's a conjecture because we have not proved by rigid mathematics, but uh, we confirmed the conjecture by computer calculation. 
for example, uh, in our case, uh, when the strip of papers are up to 2,000, we calculate by computer and confirm the formula. So this is a typical experimental mathematics method. Uh, next, we study the case of three coins. Uh, situation is quite complicated. Rule is almost the same, this one. Uh, now we cannot use grandi number because the structure is very complicated. So we have only two positions. So L position, P position, uh, L position is uh, from which the next player can force a win as long as uh, he or she play correctly. So this means next player's winning position. And the P position uh, from the other player. So I mean that the previous player's winning position. This is P position. And by computer calculation, we discover that uh, P position can be described described by this formula. But we haven't proved it by mathematical proof. Uh, I confirmed that formula by calculation of computer. So the uh, very typical uh, experimental mathematics method. Uh, these are graphs of p positions for three coins. Okay. Uh, thank you for listening.